are live again because it's that time of the week it's time to get our art on so welcome it's monday and that means it's time to draw so uh we're doing a short stream today because uh i've got an appointment i gotta keep and uh so we'll be going until one o'clock then we'll be gone we might be joining in with uh show enough studios we'll see but i've got some just quick sketches and stuff that we need to get done so that's what we're going to work on today we'll be working in clip studio just to do the sketch work then we might switch over to affinity and see where we go from there so for those of you who didn't catch the stream last night it was sort of an impromptu stream actually for pretty much anyone who watched the stream last night because there was no audio on it uh we spent the weekend at loot fest fort worth meeting some streamers that uh we like when i say we i mean me and my wife stacy uh we got to meet john i got puffy schaefer and tactical grandma and a few others and uh we had a lot of fun it was a great time uh we got to meet the mods for i got puppies which was really fun uh, and it was a good time for all. Uh, if you haven't been to Loot Fest, I highly recommend going. It's still a small event, so it was really nice because we could see everything uh, and then just kind of hang out and meet people, which was a great, great experience, comparatively speaking. I mean, you go to something like like uh, Fan Days or uh, uh, Fan Expo, and man, it's so huge you can't do it all. But uh, but this was nice. It was it was a nice quaint event, and, and it just felt like really homey. It almost felt like almost had like a family reunion air to it. That was really really fun. So, uh, but anyways, let's go ahead. And we'll get started. Uh, if you've got any questions about loot pets or anything, please go ahead and join me in chat and give me an ask, and we'll see what I can answer for you. Make sure I can see my chat here. And at the same time, what's going on over with Halo Street? So. All right. Side of my Discord. There we go. All right, so one of the things I got to thinking about uh, this weekend was uh, stickers for Inside Twitch and trying to design some, maybe some of my own. Um, and I thought about doing some for mods because there's not enough love for me. I mean, these guys do stuff that help keep the streams going. There should be more about them. So, last night we did one. So this is what we worked on last night. Just a quick little PNG, a little bit of mod love. So uh, we're going to work on an alternate design today. I'm going to start by sketching it out. I think I may want to do something more in line with that. But we'll see what we come up with. But right now, we're just going to do some warm up. Retro Expo, that was a fun. 
if you're a fan of animation, Don Bleak's gonna be at it at the at the Red Expo. So. Chance to meet the creator of American Tale, Space Ace, Dragon Slayer, and others. We'll be out in Allen, Texas, though. and uh, Dunno Studios will be out there, so you can drop by their booth and take a look at it. Say hello to Halo and Terry. Two right now. Two live crew. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. 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 Music by Tech Force. Let's go. So, Halo's live now. Technical difficulties. God, I love technology. Started working. I don't know why. I changed absolutely nothing. It just decided to work. Okay, so we're a movie package like this. I'm pretty proud of this, y'all. So this has a four-panel comic, and then um, a painted uh, my brain, a painted sherry pen, and then a clear uh, sherry pen. Yes, 
could just work. You know, like, <laughs> you need one of those? How can we get one? Well, we're debuting these at Retro Expo this weekend. Why the heck? Uh, why the thing for me? Okay. So. I need to figure out exactly what I want. Sticker wise. The big thing about this is that Don Bluth is going to be there. That's Retro Expo. You guys check it out. Hey, Game Father, what's up? Let's shout you out. Let's forget your name starts with B. There we go. When are you going to be streaming again? And if so, are you going to be painting? By the way, quick advice, Bathen, if you're an artist and you want to be known more as an art streamer, make sure that you do more art streams than game streams and you'll get more people. Does that make sense? Because if you're going to be a game streamer, you got to do a whole different thing. But if you're an art streamer who also games, that's totally different. Because I've noticed that a lot of the time when I've seen you live lately, you've been uh, streaming games, which is cool. But I think you should stream more of your art. You're a good artist. People like it. That's why um, I try not to do too many game streams. Or if I do a game stream, it's usually like a, a community day. If that makes sense, like where we're all hanging out. And I'm still talking about art from it. So I noticed that uh, that was my issue when I first started streaming is that like people just didn't know exactly where I was leaning. Because you can be a variety streamer, because I am a variety streamer, but you also need to have like some, it needs to be leaning one way or the other. So if you're like a chef, then even if you're a variety streamer, it needs to lean, lean more towards cooking. If you're an artist, same thing, you know, blah, blah, blah. The guest list is pretty awesome for Expo. I completely agree. I'm the most excited for Don Bluth. Um, I guess I'm going to be dressing like, uh, like a modern-ish version of Jem and the Holograms. <laughs> I guess I'm just going to be Jem a little bit. I'm going to try. I'm very short and old, so whatever. <laughs> yeah, I actually picked up a game. Good. Well, wait, which new hobby? What's that? Now, and I drew a, a, a little Baiju. This is a character from uh, Genshin. He's been in the game since the beginning of the game three years ago, but <laughs> as like a, a character running around, and we all know that he's going to eventually be a character we can play, but they have not announced him until recently, just uh, three on Monday. Or, no, wait, three days ago. So I guess it was Friday. I don't know, whatever. The point is, is they finally announced Baiju. This is the main character I've been uh, wanting since the beginning of the game. And uh, for people who don't know, this character is uh, the first character from Sumeru that you meet. So, uh, and they're the doctor in the China or Liyue. And uh, he's always wearing a brace on his left hand, just like I always wear, almost always wear a brace on my right hand because he has chronic health issues. And so that's why he became a doctor, not just to heal himself, but to heal others. And I just think that's really sweet. Um, also, it's hugely rumored since the beginning, and they haven't said no, that this character is trans mass because they wear a binder. And there's a million other reasons that I won't specifically point out here. But they do hide their uh, throat behind here so you can't tell if they have a, an Adam's apple. And there's a bunch of other things that us people who try to be trans masks sometimes do. And it's just fabulous. But uh, Baiju's amazing. But if I have to tell you this other thing. I was looking up Baiju stuff so that I could draw this little doodle. 
and I found out that there's a medicine called Shenling Baiju that uh, this character is named after. And I think. So basically, uh, Baiju has uh, IBS. <laughs> My God, <laughs> so dumb. Anyways, so I just doodled this out the other day. I haven't drawn in a while, as you can tell. It looks terrible. This is what we drew last week. Um, the most recent art there is simply just draw something with hearts in it. I will be doing an art showcase today, so put your art in the Discord and we will share it. Hold up, let me put this in. Alright, so go into our Discord and post your art into the art showcase and we will share it. I wonder if I should bother people. I don't know if I should bother people. Might get better, but not really. And why do you care? You don't. If you're broke like me, just throw your broke ass in the camp. Hey, Geeky. And why do they care? They don't. If you're broke like me, hey, Cosmic. Y'all, if <laughs> I almost didn't go live today, I was in <laughs> everything hurt, but that's okay. I'm not complaining. Don't leave. Like don't leave because I'm just like. Uh, let me shout everybody out. To take a day or a week off streaming do it no i know but also retro expo is this weekend and i spent a lot of time making these <laughs> so yeah i need to at least promote i mean if i spent all this time like back, breaking my back and arm to make them i should at least share it yeah they turned out awesome oh my god thank you i'm like so like any artist <laughs> i'm way overly critical of these but, um, I don't know. I think they came out all right. They're all pretty even. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I did a lot of touch-ups on these. They've been uh, coated with uh, um, on, brain. You know what? Like Instead that. of having to think about it, I'll just grab it. Oh my god, where's the bottle? There it is! Okay, this was um, suggestions from most of my... Um, miniature painter friends like uh metalhead minis suggested vallejo mecha varnish uh this gives it like a a, a matte non-shiny varnish that so that it protects the paint but also when you want to take video or pictures it doesn't look like garbage because you can tell it's like you can see the details and stuff but um, if this was shiny it would look like a little weird also you want to use matte so that when you do want something to be shiny say like uh, okay. I don't know, a weapon or something, then when you paint the weapon, it's extra shiny. So this is what I used. Vallejo, Mecca Varnish, water-based acrylic. Uh, this is the airbrush varnish, but I used uh, just a regular brush. <laughs> I did dig out my airbrush, though, y'all, so we'll be doing that. As much as I said, no, I'm not going to be doing the airbrush, guess what? Going to have to do it. If I'm going to continue to do all this crap. Oh, God, I forgot. Um, Sid and Marty Crop, one of them is going to be at uh, Retro Expo 2, which is kind of insane. Um, this is the show that we're prepping for. Oh, I keep forgetting, I can't use screen labs. So. <gasps> Alright, hold on. Hey! 
Retroactive. We are doing an art share today. Sig Croft, thank you. I couldn't remember which one because uh, the ad flipped away real quick and I couldn't see it. And I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, uh, we're going to be doing an art share. So post your art in the Discord. I don't care what it is. And if you did do the art dare, put that in the art dare part, which is simply just uh any just put hearts in some sort of drawing anyways so i guess i could put this one in there too so baiju was just announced here's baiju cosmic vampire potato <clears throat> um i know you could maybe use a little laugh okay i'm gonna repeat this again for everybody sorry deal with it baiju so i was looking up pictures of baiju so that i could draw this and cosmic <laughs> i learned that there's a regular medicine that's been around for like 100 years or more in China called Shenling Baiju. Hey, Maxi! I'll shout you out in just a second. Shenling Baiju is IBS or diarrhea medication. <laughs> and you know how Baiju supposedly suffers from a chronic illness? I mean, not not just like the wrist brace, but other stuff. That it, That's it. Baiju has IBS. Oh, thank you, vampire. I was going to shout him out. You don't have to. I know you're working and you're tired, so don't worry about it. So yeah, Shen, so Baiju is basically the name of a diarrhea slash IBS medication. <laughs> uh, Baiju go, gets the poop boos. <laughs> Talk about duty. Eh. <laughs> I don't know why that cracks me up, y'all. My favorite character is named after IBS medication, which is great because I have to take IBS medication. It's just great. Anyway. About that. <laughs> oh, hey, Here Dusk. Thanks for subscribing. Hold okay, up. Let's... Thank you for the subscription. Garfield says, next time I'll draw you some lasagna. <laughs> uh, Dusk Comics was just representing Show Enough Studio in. Was it Pittsburgh for Comics Pro? We got to see cartoonist Kayfabe and a bunch of other, like all the major publishers and comic publishers and stuff. So that was cool. Um, I just had some good new. I might lose my job. Wait, what? Curly dirt. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. What the hell? Because of a curling tournament. What did you do with the curling tournament? You weird Canadian. <laughs> oh, thank you for shouting them out. I could have done that. They're not gonna stream. <laughs> I'm playing. Are you playing? What are you playing, weirdo? Who playing? I said representing. Rue, no, get out! All right. So uh, now that everybody's, uh, a lot of people are here. Um, I will share with you what uh, I've been working on for the last few weeks for Retro Expo. Ow! Rue! Please, uh... You're such a turd. Alright. Alright, so this is uh, Terry Parr's character, Sherry Ken from Aerobicide, the Extreme Ninja Workout. But yeah, I'm not, but Streamlabs said to go to my Twitch. No, no, it's because uh, Cosmic Vampire Potato uh, shouted you out for me. You're playing, yeah. So I just do seasonal work in an outdoor skating rink, but because of a national curling tournament happening across the road, my eyes is being turned into a mini curling rink. What? Okay. So. So I'm usually done mid-March anyways, but that's still two weeks pay I could be missing out on. Well, that sucks. I'm sorry. All right, so check this out. So this is the way it's going Something to come like packaged. That. Rue. Ah. So you're going to get one four-page mini-comic, and then you're going to get two mini-figs. One painted and one clear. Um, so here's the comic. It's just a little accordion-style flip-out. All right. Fold out like a CD thing. But yeah. That's what I'm making. 
Um, I'm not doing my regular sketch JoJo thing today because I'm honestly in a ton of pain from just working on these. So I figure me streaming a little bit is better than none. So that's what's going on. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, at Retro Expo, we're going to be doing this. Um, the other thing is, Carrie made a new sketchbook to sell that I thought I might show y'all. It's called Grab Ants. I can't say say what it is. It's not safe for work. <laughs> Got Custer's last stand over here. But um. <laughs> All right, I think we've got our basic. But uh, the stuff on the inside, uh, some of it's not uh, <laughs> appropriate. But um, he just finished a lot of these, Infinity. like Space Ace here. I think I want to do the line work here, but. And um, he thanked all of his uh, we'll Patreon uh, supporters. Here. So thank you, Cal Anarch, Hector Ruiz Jr., Matt Starman, Hugo the Marvelous, uh, Melia Bounds, Adam Freeman, Bill O'Donnell, and Geeky Hoodie. Thank you for Let's supporting the Patreon. Terry uploads at least something new at least once a week. Let's show that one. Call it lines. Uh, <laughs> oh, I, uh, no, I can show these. I actually colored these on stream. Uh-oh, did it stop playing? Hold on. Oh, yeah, I got to go to the next, uh, the next album. Trust. Music. Uh, let's go to tech support. There we go. All right. Very, yay, space aids. I know, right? Oh, ah! Nope. Can't look at that one. Holy crap. Yeah, there's some. Uh... <laughs> yeah, most of these you can't really look at. Uh, these are okay. We got Beto and uh, Raiden Shogun. I love this. So let's go ahead and. We're going to use. Brush pen. Over. Yeah, spend this a little bit because 
I draw a more steady, specific direction. out and rotation is one of the things I really like about doing things in digital that and being able to take a step back instead of having to completely
here. Connect. Again, it becomes really important when you go to add color. Start again.
some of these together. Let's back out again. Grab this node and we're gonna bring that down. And I'm gonna download This is one of the things I love about working with Blender. It's being able to adjust. Here. Grab this node. Blender. Let's go ahead and make sure those things are connected.
And believe it or not, that's about all we're going to have time for right now. So uh, we will continue the stream later tonight, uh, probably around 6 o'clock. Uh, but that's going to do it for now. I've got an appointment that has to be kept. Thank you for joining me today. So just remember, we're on Facebook, we are on Twitch, and we're on YouTube. So give us a like, give us a follow. Think about subscribing, and we will see you next time.